indeed familiar. Because here in week one, what we'll begin to do is to compare initially. So, this is, I think, by far the greatest value of the bridge between Scratch and C, or really whatever language you're transitioning to after it. The, the ability in this week to now show left hand, right hand, what Scratch looked like, some construct, and what the equivalent construct looks like in C, I think is really powerful. Especially when, if you were to put up, my God, like a for loop syntax or, a few, or like the declaration of a function, it's just so overwhelming. If I you just put it up in the middle of nowhere? Like yeah, I think so. And then have to be like, oh, well, don't worry about the, the int. Oh, don't worry too much about those parentheses. Oh, my God, where's the curly brace symbol on the keyboard? I mean, there's so much distraction, and yet none of that has anything to do with the fundamental idea of what these constructs are. Even so, though, there is definitely some, some hand-waving that we have to do early on. To do. And, but I, I agree that having it side by side is, it's like, oh, OK, like this, this concept of when green flag clicked, which students now know as start, yeah. apparently that translates to int main void. And yeah, you don't know what int is. You don't know what void is right now. But we can say, like, just, just hold on for that for now. And yeah. I mean, the parentheses work because they're kind of like the white box placeholders in some of the puzzle pieces. And even the curly braces actually do work. They the work symmetry with the loops. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the rest is a bit of a distraction otherwise. But at least now you know that, all right, even if I get a little lost today, it's still just like hello world on the left. It's still just scratch ideas. Right. And we'll see, this is not the last time that we'll see us doing something like this this semester. No, no. I mean, in fact, we'll later on like, use this to make the bridge from C to, to Python, from C to JavaScript. It's a nice, I think, approach no matter what the before and the after languages are. Yeah. So long as there is a decent mapping between the two.